Flexor is a tax savings program offered by the City of Austin to help you increase the amount of money you take home each pay period. Money set aside in a Flexor account reduces your income so less federal income tax is withheld from your earnings. The City operates two Flexor spending accounts under IRS Code Section 125, one for health care and one for dependent care. You may choose to participate in one or both of these accounts. If you elect to participate in the City's Flexor health care account, Allowable medical expenses include copays, coinsurance, prescription copays, glasses, hearing aids, vision materials, LASIK surgery, as well as over the counter drugs with the doctor's prescription. Examples of over the counter drugs eligible for reimbursement are allergy medicines, cold medicines, throat lozenges, nasal sinus sprays, Visine, pain relievers, cough drops, sinus medicine and nicotine gum or patches. Please be reminded that you will need a prescription and must submit receipts and a claim form to ERISA for reimbursement. The maximum you can set aside is $250 per pay period. This money is loaded into a Flextra benefits account for you to use when paying for eligible expenses. Under the Flextra section of the guide, you will find a worksheet and a step-by-step -step process to help you estimate your Flextra healthcare expenses. You can't pay for insurance premiums, expenses reimbursed by another policy, vitamins, cosmetics, or expensive for non-IRS dependents using this money. You can enroll in Flextra as a new employee or when you experience an allowed IRS status change, such as adding or dropping a dependent, changing from temporary to permanent, or during open enrollment. When you enroll in Flextra, you cannot stop participating during the year and cannot change the amount you set aside unless there's an allowed IRS status change. Now we'll review the Flextra Dependent Care Account. This account you set aside pre-tax money for eligible dependent care expenses. You can get reimbursement for daycare expenses for children under age 13 and disabled dependents of any age spending at least eight hours a day in your home. Claims can be submitted for babysitters, or daycare centers as allowed by the IRS and must include either a social security or tax identification number. Relatives claimed as a dependent on you or your spouse's tax return or children and stepchildren under age 19 are not eligible providers. You can set aside up to 208 per pay period. You simply submit a receipt and a dependent care claim form to ERISA who mails reimbursement checks every week. Use the step-by-step Flextra Dependent Care Worksheet in the Benefits Guide to estimate your yearly expenses. Both Flextra options are use it or lose it accounts. Carefully estimate the money you put aside in your Flextra accounts. Money not claimed by the deadline will be lost. However, the IRS does allow you to continue to incur expenses through March 15th of the following year for health care or child care expenses. The deadline to submit these claims for reimbursement is May 31st of the following year. The city has many additional benefits available to employees. Healthy Connections, our award-winning wellness program, offers a wide array of wellness programming for employees. There is also an employee assistance program, tuition reimbursement, child care programs, free transit passes from our commuter program, and a veteran services office helping employees transition from the military back to civilian life. For a complete listing of additional benefits, please refer to the 2012 Employee Benefits Guide. You've just viewed video on demand for open enrollment. If you have any questions about the benefits options explained during these videos, please contact us during normal business hours Monday through Friday between 7.30 a.m. and 5 p.m. Thank you.